Justin's You is the guy take off an old box like you. You want me to bring spirits, eh? Yeah? Do you know how this place is full of spirits, spirits? From quite Haiti. Bring them. Tonight. Tonight. When I hit my job, you will see magic. Come. from those hills. They will come from the sea. They will come from the arches where they hide in. They will come when they hear my chorus. You know who you look like? Who? That's Salim. Who is he? You will see tonight. And you, Kimon, to see the old man. Now, me, who I be like? Stop. <laughs> you afraid? Eh? Don't afraid. Go inside those arches and see if you find one. They must be watching you right now. And if you behave yourselves, I'll put you in the play. When you light these lamps, you'll catch spirits. For all you should know where you come from. And how much suffering it costs people to make you free, to play, and to call me a old box. You should know that these buildings here have more history than sugar have ants. That once upon a time, over in Haiti, over 200 years past, there was a man named Thessaly who made himself an emperor. Pierre, Rousseau, Voltaire. What are all these metropolitan names, Baron? They're romantics, overcome by the odor of the mob. Bouquet d'Afrique, a man's origins hide in his linen. <laughs> <laughs> and this man, Auger, he's a mulatto. He was a member of the Friends of the Negroes. He is, he was, my son Antoine's very good friend. He was? He isn't dead yet. He's as good as dead, maybe just as well. Rights for the mulattoes today means rights for the slaves tomorrow. 
Well, there's damn little entertainment here apart from executions. I had a surly cook once. Very rude, finally desolated. I threw him into the oven. <laughs> <laughs> that was after my husband died. <laughs> no, it's true. Do not look so shock bound. It is funny now I come to think of it. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't we join them? Your husband might be worried. My husband is a civilized man. And I am not? OJ and Chavans, yes, these dreamers. They call themselves Friends of the Blacks. I heard that they offered six million in securities to the national debt. That's an expensive dream. They stated in their umpteenth petition to the assembly, Protestants, comedians, Jews, the relations of criminals all have their civic rights, but not the mulattoes. The assembly has sworn never to give rights to a bastard and degenerate race. So these two madmen start a revolution. Well, it's the end of all that stuff today. Our entertainments in San Domingue are very Roman. You've nothing like it in Paris, nor even in Rome, not since the Colosseum, when they brought slaves to pack the audience. If today's spectacle will upset you, why go at all? My husband has to. He's writing this book. In a time when the reek of massacre is on every napkin, when the stench of sweat floats over the dinner linen from the compounds, I'm tempted to write out my thoughts. The thought is like a thicket without a clearing. And I begin then my wrist is paralyzed. I look at my hand, and I abhor my own color. It is mixed, a compound, like the color of the earth. And I put my pen aside, and I live apart from thought. I have read all of them, Rousseau, Voltaire, but it's as if I'm not entitled to thought, to ideas. Entitlement, entitlement. Perhaps I should not be a writer, but a soldier. Perhaps I should be there with them, a bastard. Perhaps it's that which I found so attractive. I have no wish to go back to the bush. I think their African nostalgia is rubbish but I'm not going to be drawn in by a drawing room. No doubt, Baroness. You think I must either hate it or envy it, which amounts to the same. I must think of these things. Why, dear boy? Because I'm a bastard, a mulatto, a man without rights. Come on, Anton. You've been free with me, haven't you? City of Canada. To a local writer, she looks in her white lace balconies like Greece herself. There's a real writer staying at the Bread Estate from Paris, a baron. Have you read his works? That's what we need here real things, real thoughts.
two men will be tortured. And you talk about culture. Everything could be made into an art. I look on such things for their aesthetic elements. The crucifixion inspired all greatest masterpieces. I see. The more torture, the greater the art. Waiter, coffee. Oh, someday this city will learn to accept my genius. Someday. Maybe when I'm dead, I suppose. But this civilization of ours... Mister, you could buy us ladies a cup of coffee? Shut up. You don't see they talking about serious things. You think I'm not serious about a cup of coffee? Well, I am learning a lot. You should pay attention. Life isn't just the body. It's the soul. The mind. <laughs> well, my mind is on coffee. My soul gone to hell already. Don't talk to me about Paris. You see what they do to mulattoes who go to Paris. That if one arrogant nigger over there, the waiter, he say he come from St. Christopher, so he call himself his <laughs> Why was I born in this tribe of mongrels? They torture two of their own people and they sit here to get drunk. Just now they will start singing. Give them enough rum, then someone will pull out a knife. The nigger blood will show. They remind me of monkeys. I am one of them. Do I remind you of a monkey also? A philosophical monkey, always pronouncing big words imported on the last boat. Ip! You illiterate black ip! Tell me more, Excellency. Because I'm here to learn, Molaki. Because the French, they know you. They know they're dealing with monkeys. Thin mulatto monkeys that smoke five franc cigars and always bawling for more wine. And they're killing two just now. Comedian. I am not an animal. And those two out there in the Place d'Am, Roger and Chavan, they're animals. Chokers. Bloody chokers. Wipe your nose, Baron. One day, you will have to make up your mind whether you're white or black. Anyway, making revolution is not mulatto's business any more than making children is a horse. You know an ex-profession for mulatto woman? Hmm? You tell me and I'll take it. Just because your weights are not planting cane? That is why they had the French Revolution, idiot. You call this place the Inn of the Crown, Auberge de la Couronne, correct? Well, this waiter, mm. this waiter who worked at the Inn of the Crown, one day, one day that same crown will be on my head. <laughs> <laughs> to the French Assembly so that you could vote. Ah! 